the organizing diocese of Ankole, West Ankole, South Ankole, North Ankole, and Northwest Ankole plan to spend 600 million shillings on the commemoration of the Uganda matters, but according to the chairperson of the organizing committee, Professor Ephraim Kamuntu, the budget has hit more than 800 million shillings. The price hikes that the country, the world, not even the country, the whole world has experienced in recent time, has now put push the budget to more than 800 million. But I, I can assure the public we will provide accountability for every cent that is being spent. At a press conference, the organizing diocese has said the guest speaker, retired Bishop Samson Mwaluda from Kenya, a renowned revivalist preacher, had arrived in the country ahead of the men and women's conferences on Thursday. From 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., we will have a men and women's conference here on the grounds. That is going to be big. Even the guest preacher will be addressing uh, that conference uh, on different topics on marriage, stability, and also on repentance, core values of revival, and also on money. How do you handle money as a Christian? This on top of the daily morning and evening glory prayer sessions and daily lunch hour prayers until Friday. According to Right Reverend Johnson Tuinomujuni, the Bishop of Ankole Diocese, who is in charge of worship and later J, service begins with a processional hymn to usher the clergy to the pulpit, then the anthems to be followed by welcoming remarks by one of the bishops. Next, the first part of Holy Communion for repentance and absolution before the introduction of the guest speaker, Bishop Samson Maluda, who will deliver the day's message. The congregation will then participate in thanksgiving and the second part of Holy Communion. Last will be the benediction by the chief celebrant, Archbishop Stephen Kazimba Mogalu. And the service will close. Then we go to the second part of the function, which will include speeches. From the side of the church, the dean, the archbishop, and uh, the area bishop, or whoever we shall decide, and then the government side. And the program will mostly be animated with music. <laughs> Groups of pilgrims are continuing to arrive at the Anglican site, and the atmosphere is changing. The Anglican Matters site has a source of what most Catholic pilgrims call clean holy water. Many, hoping to collect some of the liquid, were bounced as the place is under construction. One thing on high demand this Matters Day is this, as they like to call it, holy water. Because the water source is engulfed due to construction, some Catholic pilgrims behind me have come to fetch from the spillage. Church of Uganda says it doesn't have an official position on this water. Edward Mhumza, NTV.